Do you want to learn how to become not just a good golfer, but a consistent golfer? Of course you do. Let's do it, and let's do it now. You see, consistency comes down to one thing. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome. And second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now in today's video, I am talking to you about consistency. Where it comes from, how you can get it, how you can keep it, and how it helps you with your game. And as I said back on the tee, I've just hit an absolute corker in there to be fair. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Consistency stems from one thing. Consistency stems from habitual behavior or habits. Hopefully good habits, potentially really good habits. So you'll see there, I'm playing the first hole here at Huddersfield Golf Club and both on the tee and on the fairway, I've gone through a little routine. And that routine can include a couple of different things. For me, I like to look at alignment, I like to make sure where I'm aiming, and I also like to have a couple of swing thoughts for the day included in that routine, just so I've got an idea on what I'm trying to do. Fixing pitch marks, habitual behavior, good habit. For me, the Aimpoint Express green reading system works for me, I really enjoy it, I really find it simple, and I teach it as well, so if you want to know it, smash those comments below. But again there, you'll see that it wasn't just an Aimpoint green read, it was the lining up, it was holding the shaft up over the line on the ball, so I could tell exactly where I wanted to go and exactly where I was aiming. I've also done a video on that, so I will link that up in the corner now. So again here I'm on the tee and I'm going through my routine, working on the takeaway and also checking that alignment is where I want to aim. So you can see there that just by going through the routine every single time, that now becomes habit, a good habit. And yes, that was a birdie on the first. And you can see there that back on the tee, the routine goes through exactly the same order as it did back on the first fairway, and that went through exactly the same order as it did on the first tee. Now having a good consistent routine doesn't always mean you're going to hit the fairway, it doesn't always mean you're going to hit the green or roll the putt in. We're all human. But by sticking to that consistency, by sticking to that habitual routine, generally, generally you're going to find yourself having more success and get yourself back into play, even if you do have an errant tee shot. You see, being consistent is about giving yourself the best opportunity, giving yourself the best chance. I came up with this video idea in a lesson 20 minutes ago, and I believe it that much, I enjoyed it that much, I really enjoyed giving the lesson and it helped the guy that much, I thought I better bring that you guys, I better show you guys. You see, I can't guarantee to you that I'm gonna make this putt. I can't even guarantee to you that I'm gonna two putt. 
Just like I couldn't guarantee to you that I was going to hit the first fairway, hit the first green and hold the putt for birdie. Nobody can guarantee that. But what I can guarantee... What I can guarantee is that I will go through my own personal tried and tested process, my habit, my routine, that gives myself the best opportunity possible of making that putt, of hitting that fairway, of making the birdie. While you're here guys, make sure you hit those comments below. I want to know what your routine is, how often you do it, and how long it takes. It doesn't need to be a 15 minute routine. Because obviously then your round would take like forever, wouldn't it? But yeah. You see now this hole is a prime example, par 5, round the corner, I can't hit driver, I don't need to hit driver, but I still stick to the routine, I need to hit the fairway. It's just as important to stick to the routine when I'm not hitting the driver, as it is when I'm trying to smash it down there 300 odd yards, which never happens. Yeah. And you see there, by sticking to the same process as I have done on the other two tees, just by sticking to that process, it's tried, trusted and personal to me, I've done the simple things right, I've hit the fairway, which was always the plan, and I'm in position. And you see again, same rules apply. Just because I stuck to the routine, just because I stuck to the process, I couldn't guarantee I was going to hit that fairway. If I could guarantee I was going to hit a fairway, I'd hit driver, I'd have 50 yards into it, but I can't guarantee it. Nobody can. Even here, where you think you've hit the fairway, you think it's job done. It takes a bad bounce, nada, rough. So guys, I'm just going to talk you through my personal routine here. What I do when I get to the ball, put the bag down, get out the bush and I'll find the yardage. From the yardage, I work out what the wind's doing. I work out the gradient. Obviously that doesn't happen through the bushnell because that would be illegal. But then I pick a club. Here I've got 190 yards downhill out the rough. I'm going to hit a seven iron. From there, I take a step back. I check the alignment and make sure that I'm aiming where I want to aim. So I pick a blade of grass in between the ball and the target line by using the shaft, by using my dominant eye. Again, I've done a video on this and I'll link it below. From there, my swing thoughts at the moment are to have a deep hip set on the way back and to try and get the hands working back on plane so the club head works back on plane and not too far outside. From there, I can work the club up nicely to the top of the backswing and hopefully have a nice rhythmical downswing, hit the ball onto the green and go make birdie. Easy. Or, or leave it outright into the green side bunker. Let's talk routine in there. And just like I keep saying guys, you don't need to be copying my routine, you need to get your own routine, you need to make your own habits, your own good habits, to make yourself a consistent golfer. First thing I'll do in the bunker is assess the lie, the lie is good, so it's not a problem. From there I'll do what I always do, I'll check the alignment, I'll check where I want to aim, get my foot in, I'll open the face up, make sure I'm set couple of practice swings to feel like what I'm trying to do is going to happen and then go. Guys, I do really hope you've enjoyed that. I've been James Robinson. That is how you can become not only a good golfer, but a much more consistent golfer. Create good habits, try them, test them. If they don't work, amend them. But please guys, make sure you have that routine. Make sure it's quick, make sure it's sharp, and make sure it's relevant to your game. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave a thumbs up and comment below. What is your routine? How long does it take? And how consistent are you with it? Guys, see you tomorrow.